Depuis les années d'indépendance, l'agriculture a été changée, orientée vers l'exportation au détriment des produits locaux. La majorité des gens ne peuvent pas avoir accès à la terre, donc automatiquement, ils ne peuvent pas avoir contrôle de ce qu'ils mangent. Il n'y a pas beaucoup de jeunes au Sénégal et en Afrique aussi qui croient à l'agriculture. En Afrique, la famille n'est pas prise comme quelque chose d'important. Même marier une femme en Afrique, alors que vous êtes un c'est très difficile. You can go and introduce yourself to a family as a farmer and you'll be kicked off. John Karioki, the Kenyan coordinator of A Thousand Gardens in Africa and the Slow Food International Vice President. Our project is simple and we have clear objectives. We want to involve the youth in our communities, recover the knowledge of our elderly and promote a sustainable agriculture that conserves biodiversity, promotes our culture and supports local economies. We want to promote local and traditional products, give value to the work that is being done by our small-scale farmers by promoting an agriculture that gives them the right to choose what they want to cultivate, eat and market. To eat our pumpkins, our passion fruits, our bogoyas, the matoke you saw, it would be very good. And also medicine when they are infected, and also seeds we buy and we plant. We are also agents of change. What we learn here is what we go and teach out there to our parents and to the other farmers at large. And it's also the same thing that we practice at our home. So my parents were very happy when I introduced this one. So are you teaching them something? Yes, they are learning a lot. I'll be a farmer for my daily consumption, but I also want to be. Okay, what do you expect in future? So I expect to be a farmer, planting crops, potatoes, peas, kills, and others. came up and they were even admiring us that we in Uganda like people were coming up with such a program because I was very smart in my t-shirt. Et nous allons voir que peut-être que dans les années à venir c'est l'Afrique qui va commencer à nourrir l'Europe. Ça c'est bientôt.